Let's solve the equation 3x plus 2x minus 1 over 3 is equal to 5 sixths. Okay, this equation is, is awkward for two reasons. One is obvious, it's got fractions, fraction there, fraction there. But perhaps less obvious is in fact it's got a bracket in it. And the way we should be dealing with this is to get a colour out. This term here is 2x minus 1 all divided by 3. For this type of question you're going to find it far easier to put all 2x minus 1 inside a bracket. So I get a colour out and put that in. On occasions they may already show you the bracket in the question, but quite often in these they don't. So get a colour out and put it in. Right, so we've got fractions and brackets to deal with. Okay, there's only one bracket, there's no bracket involved in the other two, but it was still got a bracket present. The rule of thumb is deal with the fractions first. So looking at these fractions, we've got two fractions and they're different numbers. So the first job is to get both of them to be the same number. The LCM of 3 and 6 is 6. 6 is the smallest number that 3 and 6 will go into. 3 goes into it twice, 6 goes into it once. So we'll use 6 as the LCM. So what I'm going to do is leave the 3x unchanged. I'm not going to change that for the moment. I'll put a plus sign down. I'm going to rewrite this fraction with a 6 on the bottom line, which is the LCM. So I need to double the 3 to get 6, so I have to double the top line. So I'm going to take the bracket and simply double it, which means I get two lots of the bracket, two lots of 2x minus 1. Equals, now this number here has already got a 6 on the bottom line, so I don't need to touch it. I leave it exactly the same, 5 6. The 5 and the 6 stay identical to the original question. So now we've got an equation with brackets in yes and fractions in yes, but the fractions are both over 6. I can now get rid of both those 6s as fractions simply by multiplying everything in the equation by 6. So I times everything by 6, including the first term. You've got to times everything by 6 for it to be a true statement. So 3x times by 6 is 18x. If you times this by 6, you get plus, plus goes down, 2 lots of 2x minus 1, which is just the top line. I now times this by 6, you just get the top line, equals 5. So the share by 6 has disappeared. OK, so now what we've got is an equation and there's no fractions present. They've gone. And we've got a bracket to deal with. So let's expand out the bracket. I'm going to say leave the 18x unchanged, not changing that in this line. And I'm just going to multiply out the bracket. Plus 2 times 2x is plus 4x. And then plus 2 times minus 1 is negative 2. So that thing there is the same as that, but there's no bracket present. So I've got rid of the bracket. Equals, and leave the 5 unchanged. So I've got now an equation with no brackets or fractions present. Let's tidy up a bit on the left. I've got 18x plus 4x, that's 22x's. Take away 2 is equal to 5 on the right. So I've tidied up. There's only x's on the left, so I'm going to collect them on the left. 22x's on the left. And I'm going to take the numbers to the right. Well, the 5 is already where I want it. Leave it alone. The minus 2, take it over, becomes a plus 2. Let's tidy up on the right hand side. So you get 22x is equal to 7 on the right. But I don't want 22x, I want 1x. So share that by 22, you get x. Share that by 22, and you get 7 over 22. That's an awkward answer, so the answer is 7 over 22. 7 20 seconds. That's the end of this equation.